Hey guys, welcome back to Sage and Stone Homestead. We are not home. We're actually at our favorite place to go on Friday nights, and this is where we shop. This is Oak Ridge Country Store in Katy's, Kentucky, and they have some of the best deals on the planet. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of sweets and conventional foods, which I think a lot of people might not expect to see from an Amish grocery. But this is pretty typical of what you will see. They will get lots of food kind of trucked in, basically refuse food that the bigger box stores don't want. A lot of times they get whole pallets of food from like places like Walmart where maybe some of the product on the pallet is damaged or nearly out of date and they get to offer those things for a really good price here. So you will see lots of conventional food, but there are many, many Easter eggs that you can find from the Amish community. A really great example of that is right here. This is a super special part of the store, really important to me because we don't like to use conventional medicines at our home. So we have all kinds of different herbal remedies that have been made locally here, and this is an amazing resource. And as you probably noticed, the lighting in here is pretty dim. It's one of the reasons we like to come in the evenings is because everything is lit by propane. And even in the summertime, he's got these big fans back here. These are also run by propane. Until we moved to this area, I had no idea that so many different things could be run off of propane, but they do that here. This is a relatively new part to the store where they expanded to include many bulk foods. So you can get a huge variety of bulk flours, different kinds of sugars. Again, it's dark in here. This is the bread flour that we buy, Occident bread flour. It's $25. Most of the locals know that if you would like to go in some of the darker part of the stores after dark, you bring your own light. Over here, there's lots of awesome canning goodies, canning lids aplenty. I've come through the flaps into the walk-in cooler. And we call this the cold room. It is very cold in here. This refrigerator and the freezers are run off of diesel. So there's usually a few different produce items here. They pretty reliably have potatoes, onions, carrots, and some forms of citrus and garlic. Carrots down here. Really awesome assortment of pie fillings here. Local cabbage. $1.50 a head. Hardly worth growing your own. Makes me feel a lot better about the failure of my cabbages this year. This is the giant cooler, so lots to behold in here. There's many different types of cheeses in here, and usually they do have stocked some milk from a local dairy that is low temp pasteurized. I don't see any of that milk here, uh, but we have purchased quite a lot of that when our girls have been dry. Here's a local sheep cheese. We've actually been to this dairy before. It's really awesome and their cheese is delicious. I know eggs have gotten really expensive as of late. These used to be $3 a dozen. Right now they're $3.59 a dozen. Not too shabby great quality large brown eggs. There, that diesel cut off so now we can hear ourselves think which is awesome because deals like this are everywhere. So this is the Oscar Mayer Natural Angus Uncured Angus Beef Franks for $1.89 a package.
This definitely is one of those gems that you can find. Monchev cheese. Uh, one of our subscribers actually, her daughter owns a 500 head goat dairy and their milk contributes to this brand's cheese. And so we buy this cheese, we love it. 50 cents a pop for organic, you just can't beat it. There's some local cheese right here next to some more familiar varieties. Duncan iced coffee, it's a dollar, the big old jug. Push the light around. Oh no, I'm good. This is part of the thing. This is definitely one of the deals that we took advantage of today. These P3 protein packs by themselves are 50 cents, but if you buy the whole pack, it comes out to 21 cents for the case. There are 10 of them in here. And so we like to give these for lunches. Every week that we come here, we always buy fruit because fruit's one of those things that we really haven't been able to grow successfully. I've got some blueberry plants, I've got some blackberry plants. I'm not sure how well they survived our recent drought, but these guys, they keep us well stocked in fruit. Apples, 70 cents a pound, even the honey crisp. We've got a dairy free table here with lots of great options, great prices. Some of the stuff may be a tad out of date, but a lot of these things have clear packaging and most of this you can clearly tell if it's good or bad. And they do keep on top of the stock here. If they find anything bad, they throw it out. And there's a whole deli counter where you can get all kinds of different types of cheeses, some stuff that you really can't find at your regular conventional grocery store. And they also have, depending on the season, different varieties of home canned items like peaches, there's peach jam here, blackberry jelly, there's always honey, and there's always maple syrup. The seasonal table here, stocked well with all the Christmas goodies. And over here, where some of the other medicines are, is where we found some really good deals on some of the medicines that we like to give when we feel sick. So these Sambucas cough syrup, basically it's like an elderberry syrup, one dollar. And I grabbed a couple of these the last time I was here, two for a dollar on these Zarbi's cough drops. Like you just can't beat it. So clearly, because of this place, I am completely ruined for a regular grocery store, but I'm not sad about it. So when the sun comes up, I'll show you what we got tonight. All right, so Levi had decided, why don't we just do the grocery haul tonight? So this is what we got. And I will say that this is a pretty light week. We spent $96.92. And usually to stay under $100, we really have to like, you know, have some, what do we call that? Self-control. Self-control. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> and so we did pretty good this week. Sometimes there's, you know, more sweet things than others. One time they had an entire box of Reese's for $26. I don't even, I don't even remember the retail value of those Reese's, but oh, I've seen them out. when we see deals like that, we do pick them up and they do circulate with really good deals all the time. So Levi did some math with some of the basically local stores around here, Walmart, Kroger, Target, for the price of uh, what we would have paid if we got this exact same haul at the regular store. So what did we end up with? $310.25 before tax was figured on the few tax items we got. Yeah, in Kentucky, they don't tax us on food. So a lot of this would have been untaxed. I'm pretty sure even the coffee, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's been a really long time since uh, we went to the regular grocery store. Now, we do go to Oak Ridge like we did tonight, and we also go to um, an Asian market close to us. But the Asian market, we really only go to probably once a month. So we're really not like keen on what regular grocery prices are. 
we only paid 84 cents in taxes and the taxable amount was 13.93. So it would have been things like the toilet paper, the lotion, we did get some cotton swabs and, and stuff like that, stuff you just, you don't eat. So hiding back here are, you know, more Lara bars and things like that. And these are the types of things that really do add up because these are really great quality foods here. And this kind of thing, Oak Ridge has pretty much all the time. They'll have different flavors. Sometimes the price fluctuates a little bit, but it's usually not too different from uh, what we paid tonight. They always have just about every time we go, really high quality breads for a dollar. Yes, I do bake my own bread here, but this is a really great option because bagels, they're a lot of work. And when you've got the good quality ones for a dollar, it's really hard to pass that up. One of the best deals that we got this evening, we didn't even realize how big of a deal that we've been getting are on these P3s. Levi looked it up and how much are these at Kroger? At Kroger, they are $2.39. For the one, for one, <laughs> we paid two dollars and nineteen cents for the box of twenty, so forty-seven dollars and eighty cents worth of P3s. We paid four dollars and thirty-eight cents for. We're spoiled. Another really good deal, and we've been loving this coffee. This is some of the best coffee that we've ever had um, on Amazon, right? Yes. This box of coffee, so a six pack, is twenty dollars, and we paid seven dollars and fifty cents for the six pack. So a total of fifteen dollars, and it would have been what forty? Yes. Yeah. Some of these things too, if it was regular price, we wouldn't buy it. <laughs> We're only buying some of these things because the price is so good, but you would never catch me. Was it $14 for one of yes. these? No. This Island Oasis drink additive, I guess. I like to use it in my kefir. It takes the kefir to another level. So once my kefir is done and fermented, I add this to it and I suddenly have strawberry kefir. I would never in a million years pay $15 for that. But because it is $1.99, I bought it. I actually didn't buy any like vegetable things because I just went to the store two days ago and I picked up some stuff for Thanksgiving. I picked up potatoes, carrots, onions, and these two cabbages, which were a really good deal. And apparently some of the other locals were telling them that you're getting rid of those cabbages at too cheap of a price. But the owner of the store, his brother really wanted these cabbages gone. I guess they grew too many this year. And so $1.50, for a really heavy head like this, this is a really great value. And I'm excited because they will cycle through um, fresh vegetables, like I mentioned in the store. They won't have stuff like this all the time. I pretty much only see broccoli once or twice a year when it's in season. And I definitely only see asparagus once a year and maybe only for a couple weeks and maybe only a couple bundles. So what we can grow plus we, what we can buy there and at the Asia market, that's what we eat. So I hope you enjoyed that peek into our Friday evening and I hope it was fun for you to come along with us to our favorite place in the world to shop. There are many people who come from many miles to shop at that store and they are a huge blessing to our community because right now it's really rough at the grocery store because everybody's pockets are a little bit lighter than they have been in years past. So we really appreciate Sammy and Elsie over at Oak Ridge Country Store. And we hope that you guys get a chance to visit them if you are anywhere near anytime in the future. Mm -hmm.